guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Galaxy Nexus. This is a new ROM by Factory ROMs. This is the Pac-Man ROM. Pac stands for Paranoid Android, AOKP, and Cyanogen. Uh, he has taken and merged all the features of those three ROMs and made them into one. So if you're having trouble deciding which major ROM you want to go with, or maybe you just want a feature-rich ROM, this is the ROM for you. Some people would call this ROM bloated. Others would call it feature rich. I choose to call it feature rich because it has features from all the different ROMs. So why go with one ROM and kind of limit yourself to features from another ROM that you could have? They're all kind of built in here. Uh, so one thing that I will say is this does have the Paranoid Android boot animation. I'll show you guys that on the way out. It has settings from all the different ROMs. As you see here, it's running the hybrid tablet UI from Paranoid Android. It looks like it's running the phone UI and then if you go into settings you'll see that it's running the hybrid version so we have our settings is in uh, tablet mode and we have several settings here first I want to go down to about phone and show you guys that we are running Android version 4.1.2 so this is not 4.2 uh, but it does have the 4.2 app so you're gonna have photosphere you're gonna have the updated Gmail uh, you should have the swipe gesture keyboard yeah, you have the swipe gesture keyboard. You do have some CyanogenMod apps like Apollo. You have the file manager from CyanogenMod. You have the DSP manager. Um, and you do have Torch. And with it being Jelly Bean, it does have Project Butter. So you see that it is nice and silky smooth. I did run the Quadrant Benchmark and I only got about 2100. Uh, so this thing is no... HTC Droid DNA by any means, uh, but it is running fast, faster than out of the box stock, and the battery life seems to be pretty good. As you guys can see, I've not moved any percentage while recording this video. I haven't had a chance to do any extensive testing on the battery life, and as you guys see, I don't even have my SIM card in here. I'm, I'm running this as Wi Fi only, but going through the post in the thread, uh, everybody has had solid data connection. I mean, this thing is stable as can be. Nothing is not functioning. Everything functions just fine. So we'll go ahead and head into settings. And you'll see that you have setting options from CyanogenMod 10 and for AOKP. Uh, you have your launcher settings for the Trebuchet launcher. Uh, you do have the lock screen settings from CyanogenMod. You have themes. So this would be the theme chooser. You can apply any theme that's a CM10 theme or an AOKP theme. Any of those that you grab from the market, you'll be able to apply those here. You have your system settings from CyanogenMod 10, so like your status bar, your navigation bar. Let's see. In status bar, you have the brightness control, so you can grab the navigation and change your brightness like so. You have your power menu options, so whenever you hold the power button, there's your signage in my 10 power options. Your notification drawer, you can add signage in my 10 power widgets, like so. To me, that kind of gums up the notification bar, so I choose to leave those off, and I just, or you could go, so you could go either or. So that's the beauty of this ROM, is you can go signage in my 10 power widgets, or you could go AOKP power toggles. So we'll stick with AOKP for now just because I prefer that. You have some wallpapers uh, to choose from. These are just standard jelly bean wallpapers, nothing special. Would have been nice if you would have included wallpapers from all the different ROMs. Maybe that will come later. And then we can go into ROM control where you have just a plethora of AOKP settings. General UI, you can change to the custom carrier label. So when you drop it down, you can add whatever you want there. I have Droid Modder X. You can choose a custom boot animation. So I said it comes with Paranoid Android, but if you can find and download another boot animation, you can actually flash that there. You can disable the boot animation altogether. And you can see there's several, several settings here. You can force tablet UI. Most of you guys are pretty familiar with these settings, so I'm not going to go into full detail on these. Uh, you have your lock screen settings, power menu, Navigation bar, so that would be here. You can actually add apps to your navigation bar um, just real quickly. Like so. And then you can also change the color of those as well. And change the transparency, which is pretty cool. 
you have your clock settings so you can change the clock style I like center you can change your battery settings I like mine to be text only but you have some other settings there as well you can change your toggles here that would be the AOKP toggles like I was saying you can change the layout all kinds of nice features here like I said this is a very feature feature filled ROM LED you can change the LED notifications and it'll give you a, a test here and then you can test it you can test the LED there as you guys can see there's there's the LED then there's some sound settings you can add weather to the lock screen and you have your performance settings here now this is one bug that I did find if you try to overclock the ROM it seems to reboot the phone uh, so I was not able to overclock it at all like I mean I could go ahead and show you now but I don't really want to if I slide this over to 1300 megahertz it will reboot my device and for some reason I just could not get it to overclock so you will be stuck at the stock clock speed but really you don't have any need for overclocking on this ROM because it's plenty fast on its own uh, but that really is the only bug that I have been able to find on this ROM anyways guys that is the Pac-Man ROM and we'll go ahead and install it real quick. Head to the link in the description for the Pac-Man ROM and also the G-Apps. You'll need two separate files there. We'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. Okay, most of you guys know by now how to install a ROM. You'll just go to Wipe, Factory Reset, Swipe to Wipe, Cache, Swipe to Wipe, Dalvik Cache, Swipe to Wipe, and then you'll go back and install those two files that I told you to download the Pac-Man uh, Toro and then also the Pac-Man GF. So you'll install both of those. That'll take just a few minutes and then you'll reboot the system. So I'm going to leave you guys with the Paranoid Android boot animation that the Pac-Man ROM comes with. A uh, big shout outs to Factory ROM development team for putting this ROM together. Don't know why uh, someone had not thought of this sooner. Uh, it's really nice to have all those features in one ROM. But if this has helped you in any way guys, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. Be sure to check me out on Twitter at DroidModerX. I do giveaways from time to time. I've got one going on right now for a free Galaxy S3 or Galaxy Nexus case. So you want to be sure to check me out on Twitter. And also check me out at DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and Tech news. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.